should be fuck you oh god <laughs> botch mania botch mania first botch anyway this is gone straight to hell there's there's a re there's a repeat a result <laughs> whatever we're really surprised I'm not I'm too drunk for this to happen <laughs> Afro and Gucci. Carlito lost though, so that means that you lost. Zandig for King Russell King. Yeah, bullshit. No one's ever made a Zandig. Where the fuck am I going with this? Number one ring. Okay, yeah. Fucked everything up. So yeah, we're gonna re we're gonna try and fix everything. Okay, you know what? No. 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 No one gets to be King of WrestleCade except for WrestleCade. No, Bully Ray has to be King of WrestleCade first. Because he wins. No. It's because, it's because Bully Ray won the belt. So, yeah. Here's Daphne. Here's, uh... Here's Natty. And, uh, here's Tara. Don't get a name change. Don't get, you don't get a name change. Fuck your shit, you're not getting a name change. Fuck your shit, you're not getting a name change. Yeah. Tara, Natty, Daphne. <laughs> the name change. I'm too lazy to name change people now. <laughs> oh, Jay, she's going to kill you now. She's gonna kill you. She's gonna kill you. Wait. And the question is, how much screaming is Daphne gonna do in this match? I mean, literally, how many screaming is how much screaming is Daphne gonna do in this one fucking match? Scream! Scream! Have a cookie. Sleep <laughs> like Kermit Suplex. No, Jay, no. Mr. Belding is not going to be King of Wrestle King. Double Arm Suplex. A, because I'm not making calls, and B, I'm pretty sure that Mr. Belding isn't already a call in this game. Would you like another reason? No one get the reference! Oh, 
if they can't get a reference of Rick Rude, they can't get a reference of Mr. Belding. Submission, no, there's nowhere. So a power bomb. <laughs> Pin, rope break. Look, he can have the Mr. Building title and never defend it and never show up on a show because he's a champion, but the champion does not do a show. Big kick. Punches to the face, more screaming. What, the Mr. Belding title? Someone's gotta... Well, there should be graphics for a lot of the titles. I haven't made any graphic titles. I haven't made any title graphics. This is where we're gonna have a fun hard time. Body slammed by Daphne. The winner is going to be the one with the... Oh my god! More screams. And that's good enough for you? German suplex pin. Terra breaks up the German suplex. Now he's like, fucking Terra, stop breaking up my moves. Terra's like, no. <laughs> I can break whatever move I want to break up. Oh god. Looks like Daddy and Terry both want to beat the hell out of Daphne, and they are trying to just get rid of each other, without each other out of the way. See, Terra again, moving towards Daphne, and Daddy's like, no, I want to beat up Daphne. And Terra's like, no, I want to beat up Daphne. No, she's not. Clothesline, and Daddy just decks Daphne. Daddy and Daphne are gonna fight. And Tara's gonna try and sneak in, and Natty's like, no! And Tara just knocked down Natty. And leg drop. And see, they're both going after Daphne, but... God, they both just wanna... Snap suplex, and Tara goes after Daphne. I mean, they're all... <laughs> Natty Bronx, and everyone's going after Daphne, and Daphne screams. And Daphne gets hit in the back of the head. And then Natty just says, you know, get out of my way, Tara. I'm trying to beat up Daphne. They're all trying to beat up each other. No. Submission. What is going on? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Natty's in the way. Natty's messing up the entire match. Natty's met. Natty's trying to ruin Tara's finish. Again, she messed it up again. Natty messed it up. Natty messed it up. Natty messed it up. Natty's trying to beat Tara for no reason, just to get her out of the way. Throws her out of the ring. Daphne going after Natty now, and here comes Tara. Tara gonna go after Daphne. And oh god. Oh god, shorter tackle. No one's following the script. <laughs> script? There's a script to Russell Cade? Fucking hell, no there's not. Firebomb! Spinning firebomb! And Terra Oh! <laughs> Terra does it again! Terra Terra breaks up Natty's pin! Terra breaks up Natty's pin! Terra breaks up Natty's pin! Oh god! <laughs> this shit's going down! Oh god! Terra. Oh god, never mind suplex. Oh shit. German suplex. Oh 
Oh god. Man, but I... What is... Terra just watches! What is Terra watching for? Oh god. Form suplex by Natty and oh shit. What the hell's going on? Oh god! Terra just killed Natty! Terra just killed Natty! Super kick! Jay, stop! Oh god, Dover Lights! Northern Lights! Northern Lights! God damn it, she kicked out! Oh shit, the rat's coming again! Natty! No, I'm not falling low with Nicole Bass. I'm not gonna go over this. This <laughs> is the path that might be bad and dangerous. 2 and 2.9. So everyone's trying to pit each other. That one now it looks like Natty and Tara are going. Oh god. Kick to the face! See, this This might actually help out Daphne because Daphne was a. Oh god damn it, no, Jay. Oh god, the pin! What the fuck? Daphne! Daphne, you stupid! Daphne, you stupid! Concussion! 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 Number one contender! Daphne says fuck you! Daphne says fuck you! Next week! Next week! Tara's gonna bitch slap the fuck the Daphne and it's gonna happen live! Fucking live! Do it live! Tara's gonna beat the fuck out of Daphne and stop her mug on her ass! <laughs> and Natty's gonna end up facing Cat for the Queen of WrestleCade somehow. Okay, um... Okay, now, now, back to the show. We've got seven matches left, actually. uh Five of them have been determined. The other two have not. So here we go. And uh, I hope you like Ken Anderson, because this is, a, this is his match. I hope you like Ken Anderson. Good, because his opponent's going to come down to the ring right now. Introducing first. Kurt Angle! <laughs> Kurt Angle! Kurt Angle's going to wrestle. Kurt Angle... Kurt Angle is gonna wrestle. <laughs> Fat Curly over Kurt. I told you, this is his opponent. His opponent is Kurt Angle. Uh, that is actually a character name that I made for a certain Star Wars game. Anyway, <laughs> his opponent from the Aces and Eights, he is Ken Anderson. His new vice president, too, isn't he? Vice president, vice president, vice president, vice president. Vice president. No, it was I made I made him in a Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. He was a Jedi, a bald Jedi, a very bald Jedi. European uppercut by Kurt Angle. Double drop kick. Nothing happens. How do we get no love? Kurt Ken Anderson's in a match. I can't stack matches, Natty. I wish I could, but I can't. Otherwise, we'd have more balanced winners. By balanced, I mean I'd actually could book finishes, and I can't book finishes in this game because the game likes to throw me off. It always does. That's how Brian Kendrick won. That's how Chuck Taylor wins, and that's how everyone else apparently sneaks up and wins matches that happens. Yes. Davis would have at least been Davis would at least be in a champion once if I could have stacked the deck. 
But in this game, I've learned stacking deck means nothing. You can do all the stats you want. If the AI is there, the AI can win everything. Which is the worst. And Angle's in the corner. And Angle's getting stomped at. Yeah, but I'm not going to go to T E W. <laughs> TEW 13. I'm not going to. Can't you just book the winners and losers in any TEW program anyway? I can stack the deck in TNM. TNM does predicting those winners and losers. It's not really that hard. You can put, you can put who you want to win. Body slam. Yeah, you got the name right, TNM. TNM is the name right, yep. It's a text-based simulator, J, and it does full matches, which makes it more entertaining. Uh, 7, TNM 7. Elbow to the back of the head. Which TNM 7 should really be replaced by TNM 8, TNM 8 because it's been out forever. Could angle in the corner. Kurt Angle getting stomped at. Oh god, face wash! Face wash! Look at that face wash! Disrespecting Kurt Angle! Disrespect! There's a knee drop! Backbreaker! Oh god, reversal by Angle! Team no respect. Jado and Ghetto! You can watch those guys at IPW. <laughs> IPW is has nothing to do with WrestleCade programming, but it's another show I run, so it makes sense. Promoted. Cron You're a naked choke, I'm sorry. Uh, new CWF thing? Uh, I gotta be honest, um, there's a little bit... There's a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit... It was mildly entertaining. It, it started with me and Jay and basically FirePro, and I was basically dicking around for a house show on WrestleCade. And uh, Jay said, well, you know, why don't you edit something, make a costume or attire or whatever. And I, no, we did not have sex with FirePro. Not in the physical way. Anyway, the point was basically, well, why don't you make it? I'm like, okay, well, this is how you. This is a, this is what I, I can do. I took Tiger Mask. I took Andre. To, I took a certain wrestler. I took a certain wrestler and I stuck a mask, Tiger Mask on him and I made it bigger. And it works. No, it was no, no, it was Bruiser Brody. We turned Bruiser Brody into Tiger Mask G, and we turned Andre the Giant into Bruiser Cat. That's a swerve. That is a swerve. <laughs> Bruiser Cat. For the love of God. We're not going to go over this. Versus TF. Drops him. Oh, out of the ring. Bruiser Dominic. No. We don't have wide enough, we don't have big enough eyes and we don't have a guy with a suit wanting to a million bells or whatever the fuck he wants now. I have hiccups. This is the best day ever. Power slam. One, two, two, two point nine. Terra wants Angle to win so bad. Oh yeah, Mike Barrington won. There, there were, um, was it just the two at the time? No, because I think we went through and we did about four people. Tiger Mask G, Mike Barrington, I think we did Stan Hansen because it was easy. And I think Canadian Dragon was it? Number four? I think Canadian Dragon might have been number four. The Canadian driver was basically me fucking around and being like, Morgan, you know what, let's be- uh, It was Jeff Jarrett? I thought it was Canadian Dragon. I thought Canadian Dragon was- 
Might have, might have been shortly after Canadian Dragon was made. Yeah. I, I know. I know we made. Cana I know we made Canadian Dragon first. At least the fifth or the sixth guy that we made. Guaranteed. I know. I know we made Canadian Dragon shortly afterward. If he was after, he probably was. Might have been. One, two, and that was basically. Well, you know what? Let's make a guy that looks like Ultimate Dragon, but he isn't. You know how you know how we You know how we have American Dragon Brian Danielson? Yeah, well let's make Canadian Dragon, because he needs to exist. And it basically was Canadian Dragon. Brainbuster by Ken Anderson. That's not him! It's not Eric Young who went over this. It's it's A1 in disguise in, in disguise and he's shorter than usual. Well, in the valley suplex. Angle slam. Shit's really going down. Pin. One, two. I said A1. Two count. Angle almost wins the match. Body slam on Ken Anderson. Ken actually giving a big. Contest. Oh God! Belly to belly outside the ring. Whoa. Going to belly outside the ring! No cell! Train Buster to the outside! Kid's like, fuck you! Come on! Something happened! Oh god! Kurt's hurt! Kurt is hurt! Hurt, Kurt! Calls to the crowd. Let me Oh, drops right in his face. Pins. Close line. Ken! <laughs> Ken! Again! 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 No! Kurt! Kurt got some bitch no sold! He fucking no sold! Except he kinda sold when he was dizzy. Fucking selling and no selling at the same time. What the fuck? I'm trying pin! I'm trying pin! Yeah! <laughs> Apologies. That is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. I I can't help it. Um I I, I need to apologize to everybody. <laughs> that was not um that finish was not supposed to happen. But uh it's time for a tag team match and it features uh Bobby Fish and and Samoa Joe. If I could actually, you know, Bobby Fish and Samoa Joe. God damn it, guys! Don't make me fuck this up. Versus, versus, fucking. Okay, you guys need to make me quit laughing because I really need to get this done. That was the worst finish I've ever heard of. <laughs> that was the worst. That was a terrible finish. I'm I'm sorry. I, I I apologize for the finish of that match. <laughs> Introducing first <laughs> the No Limits Champion and the Pure Champion. Bobby Fish and Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe! So, we're gonna have, um... We're gonna have, uh... Let's see. What's, what's after this? Oh, yeah! The tag title match. After this one, of course. I'm introducing their opponents! 
<laughs> Ted DiBiase Jr. and The Miz. <laughs> Ted DiBiase Jr. <laughs> oh God. What have I done booking matches like this? Seriously, I, I've d I think I've done something wrong. I think I've done a lot of things wrong. Good night, guys. People go to sleep. Night, Tara, Victoria, everybody. And I guess it's just Natty and Jay. Oh, good night, Natty. I'm still going to come into your room. Oh, and sleep in bed. And Jay's not leaving yet, because Jay is a very dedicated person. Pin. Oh. Chop. Oh god, this straight. I gotta be honest, um, that's not the worst finish I've ever seen. So says the guy who seen the finish with someone getting doubled in the back and pinned. For three count. I mean, like, legit. That is how a match ended one time. Someone gets elbowed in the back, and it gets pinned, and it's a three count. I'm like, what the fuck kind of ending is that? <sighs> Unfortunately, no, Samoa Joe is not a default character. He missed the cut by about a year, I think. If you want a default roster, I have one for you right here, actually. Um, no, it came out in 2005 in Japan. It was a Japanese game, so it had a Japanese roster. Because they didn't change it at all from the Japanese version. I wish they would have. But here, if you, if you want an edit here, you want the list... Here's a full list of people that are in this game that you can rename whatever. Oh look, it says me now! It just said me! That's what it says for me, it says me on my screen. That's a new change, I think. No, but uh... I guess Amer I guess we're going to the U.S. stature. Um, uh, Dynamite Kid we could rename. Whoa. Probably uh, Dynamite Dud. <laughs> Dynamite Dud. Black Tiger could be uh, Fuchsia Tiger. I don't know. Jamal could be. Jam I don't fucking know anymore. Oh, uh, Jamal could be something. Snapmare. Of all those people are Japanese, though, there's not really that many Americans. Bison Smith! Found it. I found Bison Smith. Well, it says me for me. It says me because I'm typing. Body Slam. Knee drop. Dragon Screw. Um, what do we got here? We got a lot of stuff going on. Oh, oh, oh! Shot to the head. We got the Ward Warriors. Should I choose to make them? Um, I don't know. It might just be a freaking mod thing or what? I'm not sure. But that's what's saying for me, at least. Backdrop. Hanging in the Miz. These two are not supposed to like each other, and yet they're working together. What the fuck kind of shit is this? By the way, do not pick any fucking mixed martial artists. We already have enough problem with Team Kendra. Um, Tentai Source already exists.
I gave you, he's on the wiki already, he's Tensai Source. Oh god. Firebomb! And here we go, uh... Go Joe in the corner? Nope. Miz in the corner! Actually, wait, that's... No, that is... No, that's the Miz! No, wait. No, yeah, that's the Miz. Or, I can't... I can't fucking remember who is who now! Jesus, I look away and I defocus for a second, I can't remember who is who. Because they both had the exact same fucking face, I think that's the Miz. Lies, that's Kent. Oh, yeah, Kenta Kobashi. Head to Yasuji with an elbow to the back of the head. Quick pin! One! Nope. See, this is what happens when I put two people who look the same on the exact same team. We don't know if he starts spamming the move, Jawbreaker. And, oh, diving double foot stomp. Bobby Fish tags in. Back drop. Two point nine of that German suplex. Um, actually, low key is Afro Key Thunder. J. Afro Key Thunder. My um, personal apologies, but you're kind of you can't remember the roster, can ya? You can't remember the roster. I. I I, I love Afro Key Thunder though, seriously, as a gimmick. I really love it. But he's not black enough. <laughs> and I know that sounds incredibly racist because it might, because it probably is. Moonsault. Nope. The Miz is gonna make people pay! No, it's not. Crossbody. The best part is when you're being asked questions about TNM and you're like, okay, well. One count. I'm gonna check my Gmail now, because I wanna see if that fucking thing's here yet. Better fucking be. Or I'm gonna be a pissed off person. Oh, you son of a bitch! It lagged. Oh, here we go! Fuck yes, finally! I got my codes! I got my codes! I cannot share some with you, Jay, but you will be able to see live casts of TNM7 in the future, because actually, WrestleCade will have a show involving it. I'm not talking about what show, but it's gonna happen. 
And it's gonna be the war. And it's gonna involve Barry Horowitz. Horowitz. And if that makes any sense to you. It might be just the biggest jobbers in wrestling history taking, facing, facing against each other in a wrestle cave. Also, Bob Stan is now subscribed to me on YouTube. Oh God. Fish got hurt! Fish got attacked! Fish got attacked! No, I have not been spanned by Ares lately. Probably will be spanned by Ares on, uh... Snap bear, knee drop. Canadian Dragon, we went over this. Canadian Dragon, damn it. No, I'm, I was joking about A1, but Petey Williams is seriously Canadian Dragon. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm ruining all your ideas, but really, you gave me characters that I... Well, men's T.O. could be women's T.O., but it's not going to happen because we're not women's division unless we put an awesome Kong in a tiger mask. And take Age of Kong's mask off. <laughs> You're like... Wouldn't that be Tiger Mask A? Or Tiger Mask AK-47. Shut up. I know you're gonna say something about that. to the face. This match is actually going on extremely longer than I thought it would. Oh shit, I better check this thing in the way.
Now, wh what are you doing with that gimmick? I don't understand what you're doing yet. Uh, yeah, it's gonna sound really weird. Joe throws Ted out of the ring, Miz gets thrown to the ropes, and, close and beats the shit out of Joe, apparently, and Joe is going to elbow Miz Ted down, damn it, fucking hell. Oh. I thought you were doing Carl Anderson plus Luthez. Or better yet, dressing up Luthez like Aqua Teen Hunger Force's Carl, but that isn't Carl with the sea. Sure block. Which one? Buster. Pulls I misses. Oh. If any idea how easy it is to make him though, it's like you can find the head and then you can just, you know, make up the crazy wife beater. Uh he might have. At least it's not as weird as the Alex Shelley glitch where he ran up nothing and springboarded off nothing to land a back elbow. Pin! Dropkick! Still waiting for the matches! Is it, aren't his games glitches themselves? Oh, how is it going to be the golden virtual voice to him? Powerbomb. STF! Taps! Instant tap! Joe wins. Joe wins by far the longest match. <laughs> so far. Beating Ted DiBiase Jr., yep. Yep, show wins. GG. Next map. Next map. Yep, next map. What map is it? Because they forced me to do this. Literally because they forced me to do this. And I usually don't do this. But we're just desperate for a winner. There has to be that there has to be there has to be a def definitive grace to tags. And we keep having controversial victories. So you know what? Fuck your shit. We're gonna have a. We're gonna, if no one, if someone better win this, I swear to God. If no, if if this has another controversial ending, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I swear to God. Uh, uh, no more fucking controversial endings. Matt Jackson, Adam Cole, your greatest attacks champions versus. Doc and Knox, your former greatest of tags. Fuck your shit. We keep having early. We keep having death match. Fuck your shit. There's gotta be a winner. Fuck your shit. Someone's gotta win. Death match is solve everything. And yes, we're giving away a death match on a weekly show. Deal. This company doesn't make sense. Why do you think our match is gonna make sense? None of it makes sense. A oh, well, defensive king, <laughs> greatest of tags. A defensive greatest of tags by the end of tonight. It's the nature of the game. The nature of the game. Someone's gonna be hurting and someone's gonna be dying. Ankle off. Oh god, the suplex got reversed. Oh god, Luke! I mean, Doc! Doc goes in the face. Doc's bleeding. Doc's bleeding. And people thought, oh god, and people thought this match would be great for Doc and Knox. 
but apparently not, because this match is still going sharpshooter. And no one's and Doc is the only one that's bleeding. <laughs> Fuck your shit. Fuck your shit. No, I can't because the whole thing's going to go up to the channel live. Not unless uh, YouTube's video editor is that advanced, which it isn't. All I do is fix the audio, that's all I do. By audio I mean I make it so it actually YouTube can actually pick up the shit. Fuck your shit. Fuck your shit. Fuck your shit. Fuck your oh god. Ben. No. Candlestick on the bat and on the candlestick at the same time. That was a deadly suplex. Oh god! Down! Uh, he's already bleeding. Oh! Cole's bleeding. Two count on Jackson, who meanwhile is apparently small packaging people. Yeah, are we get to, are we gonna get to the big explosion of death? Super kick, figure four. Jackson, Jackson and Nux fighting the two men who haven't bled anything yet. Power bomb pin. One count. Well, package Jackson's bleeding. Nux is the only one not bleeding. Or Nox. Well, he will be bleeding soon, believe you me. He will be bleeding soon. Broken up, but. Oh god, hit again! Broken up! Two. Twice in a row. Jock to the back of the head. Oh, he will be bleeding soon. Tiny Moots are on. Two count. Oh shit. Oh shit. Nux almost got thrown into the barbed wire, but apparently bounced off of Nick Jackson. Or Matt Jackson. Never mind, Matt Jackson, not Nick. There we go. Everyone's bleeding. Everyone's bleeding. Ble Everyone's bleeding. Everyone's bleeding. What a surprise. Everybody's bleeding. Guess what? The ring's gonna explode soon. I mean, like, legit, like, legit explode. Like, legit explode. Um. 2.9. The referee's the only one not bleeding. Well, this might change that. Are you ready to count down with me? Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, boom! You can go to fucking hell! You can go to fucking hell! You can go to hell! You can fucking go to hell! Try to have a defensive champion, and this is what the fuck happens. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm done. I am fucking done. After that fucking bullshit, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Might be a prick game. Might be a fucking prick.
Well, we're going to have a fucking barbed wire death match at last till the ring explodes and everybody loses. Son of a bitch. Son of a fucking bitch. It got me. It fucking got me. It knew what, it knew what I was doing and it fucking said, fuck your shit, we're going to mess it up. It's a fucking game, I swear to God. Let's just, let's just get the, just get our, our matches going if we can. I'm, I'm like, I'm seriously just like, what the fuck? Oh my god, really? Really? <sighs> Introducing first, Austin Aries. Yeah, by the way, anyone who wants to fucking take a fucking rec- any anybody wants to look at the archives, that was the first fucking draw we've ever had. Don't go Steve Austin. I, I'm, I'm fucking pissed. It's the first fucking one. Excuse me for raging on the timeline. I I am I'm raging on Twitter right now. Austin versus Austin and here's a test of strength. One by nope, no one. No, see, singles matches won't end in draws if you don't blow everybody up. I'm now telling Tara she must. Um, double count it as possible, but considering there's two people, not like a tag team or a six man tag, it's gonna be extremely rare. About as rare as that explosion, which never ever happened before to me and happened today, so I'm fucking pissed off at it still. Why in the fuck does this shit keep happening to me on every fucking match? I do! Jesus Christ. I need to follow Hawkins back, so there I follow Hawkins. I've been too busy with this fucking mad, this fucking show, and everything terrible happens in the same match! So we got Aries versus Austin. I might want to go over the rest of the match just in case people haven't been over. Uh, Sting versus Bobby Roode. Chris Jericho versus Jack Swagger, and Kane versus Devon. Whether Devon might be dead or not is up to De Devon. I fucking goddamn pit. This game loves to troll me, not only in winners of matches, but now results of fucking matches too, like how it ends. There's been an arm drag win today, and there's been a fucking goddamn squash match by Big Show, which I didn't want to happen. But the game does what the game wants to happen. I think I killed off one of those. They'll be fine.
I'm gonna highlight him. I'm gonna highlight all of them. I'm gonna highlight that that uh the death match if I can do it. Like at least get it on a uh, get put it on YouTube as its entirety and just take that small part and upload a new highlight of it. Just like I did with the CWF roster, if you seen that video. The greatest CWF roster of all time. And apparently there's another CWF that stole my idea. It stole my idea! I probably stole their name, but I don't care. Mine is better. And it's on the same fucking game, too. Two count. I wonder if I can mod. Nope, okay, wait, mod me. Mod me. I don't have permission to do this. Mod Batman. I don't have permission to do this. I can't. So I can't mod people as a mod, so I guess I have to wait until I'm an admin to mod. So I have to switch it on my name if I want to mod people. So I'll do that later. Well, you know, the point of me being a mod is I can do this. Ban Batman. <laughs> Unban Batman. <laughs> Brain Buster. Jackknife pinned by Aries 1! 2! 2.9! You can't ban me because you're not a freaking mod, Jay. I was going to mod you, but apparently not anymore. I might start doing that later, actually. Banning Ares for a t or timing him out at least. I've already timed him out once. 450! Pinfall. Two count. Drop kick to the back of the head. Two, two point nine again. Jesus Christ! How many two point nine is this fucking show gonna have for this match? Yeah, I know. I saw that. You do realize the whole match is gonna be uploaded first before the highlight itself. Stunner. Unless I go to Wrestle Kingdom and actually rename and actually have. Oh God, Austin wins. Still, go Steve Austin wins. Austin Aries loses the first round match. Well, someone's not going to be happy. Oh, well. This is what happens when you leave things up to tournament. When uh, apparently no one can be a defensive number one contender because they all keep losing. And I mean that in the most, you know, way possible. Well, most not like a bitch way possible or not like an asshole, but no one here can win a fucking consecutive match, can win consecutive matches, so we're gonna have someone at least win consecutive matches by the end of this fucking goddamn tournament. So someone please win matches, win matches in a row. I am thinking about Batman. I am thinking about left. 
left leg. Left foot. Teddy Hart, fuck you! <laughs> hey Sting! What's up Sting? Oh, you gonna wrestle? Okay. Sting for a main event mafia is gonna wrestle against Bobby Roode. Duh. Bobby Roode. Bah. Oh, be rude. Bah. Oh, oh, be rude. Bah. Oh, be rude. Bah. Oh, oh, be rude. Bah. Oh, be rude. Bah. Oh, oh, be rude. Bah. Oh, be rude. Yep, I just sung Bobby Roode's new theme. Wait. Shut up. That's the strength. Durr. Where's the interference from James Storm? See, you know what? This brings us to a valid point right now. I think James Storm is a terrible tag team partner because all his partners. Because he cannot team. He cannot fit. He cannot form a team that lasts a decent amount of time because they they always break up. You see, you see what James Storm caused. James Storm caused the breakup of AMW. He caused the breakup of Beer Money Inc. And he will cause the breakup of James Storm and Gunner. Nightmare. I'm having a cookie now. No oh God. Reverse Tornado DDT! DDT! Two! Two count! German Suplex out of the freaking ring! You have no material to work with. Headbutts to the face of Bobby Roode. He's probably rude of serious business, and you better respect serious business. And Sting's too old. Now Sting, Sting is a legend in the sport. Backdrop. Nope, never mind. Reversal by Sting, and Sting's with an elbow drop in the back of the head. What an awesome move, and a punch to the face, and a little punch to the back of the head. And then he's gonna fucking keep punching him in the back of the head until he proves. Scorpion Death Drop! Well, I'm going to be honest, um, Steve Carino Flakes came from a name. It, it came from me just randomly thinking of people's names. And uh, when I looked at Steve Carino, I'm like, well, fuck, maybe he's just Steve Carino Flakes because I remember his hair, his old hair, he had blonde, you know, he changed from blonde to uh, black hair or whatever, I'm thinking... Well, what happened if part of his hair was still showing? Maybe it's cornflakes. And plus, we need a new guy for Team Balance Breakfast, and I was thinking of a, just, you know... Well, Team ba Complete Breakfast Club, or Balance Breakfast Club, or whatever you want to call it. I wanted someone else for Orange Juice to work with. Root to the outside. It also it also came from the fact that someone had cornflakes in their mouth and had it like you know if you have like cornflakes stuck in your mouth it kind of shows up you know up front or whatever like you stuck it between the your teeth or whatever it's obvious that where it is. 
I'm like, geez, that's cor- and I'm, and I'm playing the game right now, and I'm looking at all the default edits we're gonna decide what to do, and he, um, he has cornflakes stuck, a friend has cornflakes stuck in his mouth, I'm like, I'm looking at Steve Carino, I look at the cornflake, I look at Steve Carino, I look at the cornflake, I'm like, that's it! That's fucking it, Steve Carino flakes! I think he was also drunk, but that might be a, a whole different story. <laughs> drunk eating cornflakes. I don't know what the hell he's doing at the time. Release German! Trying to murder Bobby Roode. Little does he know, Bobby Roode has already been attempted murdered like 6,000 times. Close line. Bobby Roode! Scorpion death drop. And Scorpion Death Lock wins the match for Sting. What a surprise. Not really. But Scorpion Death Lock. The Wanted? Hmm. Whatever. I don't even know what the hell they're talking about anymore. I I don't keep track of some of the stuff that goes online. And our next match is involving Chris Jericho and a big American. Chris Jericho and a big American. I wonder who it is. Swagger versus Jericho. Well, I'm going to try and take a look if I can. Who the fuck is... Low, 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 low. I... That makes you laugh. Jack Swagger. Jay, I think you're popular. Don't question it. And here comes his opponent. <gasps> Steve Carino. No, I'm sorry. That's the other show. Chris Jericho, everybody. I was just a Steve Carino flakes. As we're talking about him, but he's not. Believe it or not, the CW save, the CWF save is not on the WrestleCade save. The CWF save is on the current IPW save. Wait. Yeah, I have a thou one thousand three hundred and one followers. And of course, you have uh, more saves, more followers than I do. I think, don't you? I can't tell anymore. I can't tell how many people, how many followers everyone has. Everyone's more important to. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still. Yeah, you have. No, wait, no. I have more followers than you. Surprise, surprise. Not by much, though. I'm probably gonna. I don't deserve my followers. I do not deserve my followers. My followers are just here to watch WrestleCade and have the ladies. You know, honestly, um, I just read a tweet about two best friends play, and um, I've been thinking 
Now... Now, I want to best if... What is if I start doing Let's Plays? Who would actually watch that? Let, let me rephrase that. What if I do Let's Plays of terrible games? And I don't mean like, oh, mediocre, remember me, and stuff like that. I mean, terrible, terrible games. I have a list of ba terrible, bad games I want to play for a decent amount of time. By that I mean probably around 15, 20 minutes. If that makes any sense to you, buddy. And actually, um, 30 Flights of Loving is actually one of the titles. It's on Steam. And I hate it. Because it reminds me of everything I hate about it. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think that's a good idea because the Echo sucks. By the way, Echo is also on the list. Echo Defender of the Future played for 30 minutes. So is uh, Shaq Fu, among other games. And just to add that little bit of you know special game thing in the quality or whatever. Uh, just add a little space in between the terrible, terrible, I mean, very bad other shit. Uh, we have good games. Um, to fight overrated, how bad it sucks? I mean, I know there are worse, worse fighters, but it's a, it's a bad fighter. It's, it, it is a terrible fighter, it should be ashamed of itself. I, I know there are worse fighting games. But again, this is like a Rise of the Robot situation. It's like the hype fucking killed it. The hype makes it, yeah. And plus, it probably has the worst soundtrack. No, not the worst soundtrack, but a, uh, an annoying soundtrack in Shaq Fu, which would be good if it would be a decent soundtrack if you took away one thing. One thing every track because it's all it, it's in every single track out there that stupid high-pitched beeping sound they do for almost every fucking track on that game well I'm gonna say this right now fuck pal in mind Shaq is an American damn it Shaq is a fucking American And that was way too much high-pitched beeping for me, honestly. Also, just because it's not its not a bad game by any means, it's a hilariously funny game. Uh, Barkley Shut Up and Jam Guided. Just saying. Barkley, shut up and jam Gaiden. That's gonna be played. That's definitely gonna be played. Actually, you know, I might just play whatever game I feel like. For 30 minutes and then upload it to YouTube. With the hilarious commentary and everything in intact. Actually, that was one of the WrestleCade series. Tommy plays Re WrestleCade slash Tommy Spud plays random games. 2.9 on that. Tommy slash WrestleCade plays random games and probably swears at them a lot and rage quits maybe halfway through it looks at Ares and says fuck you I'm not playing Echo the, the Alpha I'm scary. No, maybe. I don't know. Drop to a hold by Jericho. And a back drop. Hit 
Takes down Chops. Jericho. Swagger went for the ankle lock. It's kicked up by Jericho and both men are down. Snapmare. Hit off the Snapmare. Hit off the Snapmare! You, you gotta be fucking kidding me. 2.9 on the Snapmare. There it is! Oh, 2.9 Shorter block Swiss National Bank have to get Antonio Cesaro. Jericho just waiting. And oh no! What, you want to talk to Power... Power Uti? Backbreaker. Nightmare! Worst one to set, right? So I'm down Jericho. Is it over? Nope, 2.9. Ankle lock. And ankle lock is no. Double arm suplex. This shit's still going on. Submission. Oh no! Drop told! Picked up back grapple. No, reversal. Jericho trying to win this match. Always trying. Swagger though. Not letting him do anything much. That's gotta be it. Jericho kicks out again! Jesus! Tiguri! Out of nowhere! Jump spin back kick! Picks up! Picks up! Freaking swagger! And slam down again! And a pin! One! Two! Three! No! What the hell is going on here? Our oh, perfect opportunity for the walls! Did he go for it? Close line! Picks him up! Flipped over. We're honestly going to a point where I didn't know it was going to happen. Reversal. Flips him over. Dropping swagger on his face. Front grapple. Jawbreaker. Jericho. Again, slam down. Pin. Rope break. Jesus, Jericho's out of the ring. Jericho's getting murdered out there by Swagger, but uh, I think he's kind of. Oh wait, this gonna be something here? No. The spinning wheel kick. Jericho has not gone for many pins or submissions in this match. Chop off. And he goes straight for the head, but oh, it's over again. Going straight for the leg. Nope, punched. And Jericho off the ropes. Back body drop. He 
to the back. There's again. Turbo gets right back up. Picks up Swagger. Snap and reversal. Snap and reversal. Drop kick. Jericho should go for a pin. Belly to belly. European uppercut by an American. Ankle lock. Drop break. Bulldog. Backbreaker looking for something. He's got to do something here. Nope, never mind. And Swagger's going to make him pay, probably. Clothesline. Picks him up. God damn, this match is not ending anytime soon right now. German. Rope break. Too close to the ropes. Gets arm dragged. Jericho. Still, this match continues. Dropping him on his face. Gonna pick him back up for some reason and oh! Oh! Powerbomb! 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 Triple powerbomb! No pin by Jericho! They're now out of the ring! Swagger gets in the middle of the ring, they're like, ha! Ah. 26 minutes! Jesus! One of the longest tournament matches so far. Close lines him in the corner. Get to the gut. Down he goes. Ankle lock? No. First off the German with rope break. And then Swagger's like, oh my god, what the fuck am I gonna have to do? Jericho body slam. Jericho picks up Swagger. Jericho talks. Jericho's for back grapple. Jericho puts Swagger into the ropes. Jericho gets charged through. Swagger goes up top. Swagger goes like, I'm gonna hit you for a fist drop. Swagger is confused. Gets by some out of the nope, in, still inside the ring. Swagger gets picked up. Jericho goes for it. Nope, gets thrown out of the ring. Swagger taunts. Exits the ring. Exits the ring. Gets throws Jericho back in the ring. Follows behind him. Gets to the gut. Up top. Fist drop. Pinfall off the fist drop. Throat break. Jawbreaker from Jericho. Drug drags Swagger away from the ropes. Walls. Do the walls. Never mind. Drops an elbow instead. Here we go again. Power bomb. Power bomb. Power bomb. Off the ropes. Clothesline. Picks up Swagger. Back grapple. Drops him again. Does not do anything though. Off the ropes. Swagger. Clothesline. Swagger. Pick up. Swagger. Off the ropes. Go. No. No. Knee to the face. Chop lock. Ankle lock. Never mind. Picks him back up. Kick to the gut. Ankle lock. Picks him back up for some reason. Big ass German. No pin. Picks him up. Kick to the gut. Picks him up. The power bomb does not give anything. European uppercut again. Swagger. Ankle lock. Too close to the ropes. Rope break. Jericho. Clutch to the outside onto Swagger. Doing something different. Gets the arm suplex on the outside though, and uh, they're gonna still fight. Nope, never mind, so we're back in the ring. What it was. Are we actually gonna keep this going? It's been 30 minutes of match.
literally such a bad match for Jericho. I'm, I, I, I just, I sometimes just want to call the match right now. Honestly, this is really just the part was pissing me off. Armbar, game over. Swagger wins with an armbar. Thank fucking God. We I mean, threw out our main event. Kate versus Devon. Jesus. This should be quick, I think. Because Kane's been pretty much dominating. If we have a Kane vs. Big Show final, I swear to God, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, no, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm not just gonna be pissed, I'm gonna be like flipping everything up. Here comes Kane! It's Kane! I don't know. We'll see. 20 minutes game time or 20 minutes real time? Because 20 minutes game time is uh, 20 minutes, well, 20 minutes real time is 40. And you're just seeing Kane's opponent! Devon! Okay, well then. Last match of the night, then everything is done. Wait. Devo goes for a punch, it's missed, and King gets a body slam. Kane gonna body slam everybody apparently right now. And big boot blocked. Goes straight for the big boot, misses. Devon and Brother Devon are gonna face Kane together forever. Hair blow. Hair blow. Armbreaker. Hair blow again by Devon. Devon on the attack. Punch, punches Kane in the face. Punches Kane in the face again. And Kane just shrugs it off and gets body slammed in the, into the corner. Devon dragging Kane away from the corner quick. Come on, Devon, no count. Devon trying to end the match quick so he, the crowd doesn't get bored. Devon and Kane. Devon will body slam on Kane, quick stomp. Now, people would say Devon probably got the worst draw in this tournament. I mean, at least on Brand B's side. We're getting Kane, the man's been pretty much dominating. Devon with a gets body slammed again. Jesus, and pinned by Kane. No count on on the pin. Kane surprisingly does not get a straight two count. Devon and Kane just uh, really, really going back and forth. Oh, European uppercut there. Here comes the meat to the gut from Kane and Kane off. No, nope, never mind. He gets punched to the base. Here comes Kane back. Ooh. I have a running jumping shorter block there. Just keeps attacking Kane. The headbutt to the nuts might have helped. <laughs> Kane, of course, going after Devon and his legs. Kane gonna punch Devon in the face till he goes down. Stomp to the nuts. I don't think Kane gives two fucks right now. Devon gonna punch Kane in the face and knock him down. Close line. Headbutt to the nuts. Devon gonna get punched in the head. Five minutes. Five minutes have passed. Devon nails Kane in the face. Headbutt to the nuts. 
Punch to the face of Kane. Need to together Kane and Devon gonna go for a clothesline. But you came the face! Rope break! Kane shoves him off. Devon! Devon! Power bombs Kane! Headbutt to the nuts! Oh my god, is Kane in trouble? Clotheslines the fuck out of Devon! Stop to the gut! Here comes Kane! Oh, Devon gets up. Devon gonna powerbomb him again? No, Power Driver! Power Driver this time. Stop to the gut. Devon surprisingly doing quite well for himself right now. Punch to the face from Kane. Get him those Devon. Throw to the outside is Devon. One, two, three, four gets back in the ring. Punch to the gut from Kane. The taunts and leg drops Devon on the back of the head. But pinned by Kane. One count. Two, two. It's a two count on Devon. Devon can feel the pressure. Can feel can feel the need to hit moves now. Can feel that Kane is breathing down his back, being like, I'm going to kill you. Next person saying. My name is Gerald, and I am a waiter. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I can't believe I made that joke. Devon. DDT spiking Kane to the mat. Kane. Tombstone power driver. Pins Devon next to the rope, so it's a rope break. But still... Kane, power slam by Devon. One, two, two count only. Kane throws Devon out of the ring. Here comes Kane. Oh god, Kane on the outside. This cannot be good. Back drops Devon onto the padding. The outside. Body slams him there too. That's still gonna hurt because that's that's not exactly the most supportive padding. It doesn't sh it doesn't really uh cover that well. Oh, the shoulder thrust right there, knocking Devon off. Kick to the gut. Oh god, Kane! Kane! Choke slam! Choke slam gets a two count. Devon fighting back. Gonna throw Kane to the ropes and power slam. One, two, two point nine. Devon still. Oh my god, punches Kane right in the face. Picks up Kane. Go, nope. Kane's like, nope. And Devon's like, no, I'm gonna power bomb you. And Kane's like, nope to that too. Leg drop. Drop away from the ropes. This is actually the closest. This is actually a pretty close match. Way closer than everyone thought it would be. So everyone thought Kane would dominate, but apparently not, right now at least. Puts Devon in the corner. And Kane's gonna get suplex to the outside. Yes! Out of the ring goes Kane. Devon's is still on the inside. He's going to taunt. And taunt. And get back to the middle of the ring and try to avoid Kane. He looks angry. Devon picks up Kane and drops him. Wow. Taunting by Devon. And too much taunting. Leg drops. Headbutt to the nuts. More ball shots. More low blows. What is this? So ready to rumble credit video of all the low blows that happened in this game? Elbow to the back of the head. I, I referenced Ray the Rumble, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, big boot. Let me drop back to the big boot. Body slam. 14 minutes. Back drop. We're almost to the 20 minutes. Dropped. Dropped. 2.9. Diva almost wins. Devon almost wins leg drop to the head. <gasps> Joke slam! Pinned by Kane! Pinned by Kane! No! Diva kicks out of two! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Leg drop to the head! Wow! This is this is a close match. Extremely close. Kane! 
Total World Slam. Boom. Stops it. Oh, God. Hit again. One. Two. What? 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 Oh, my God. Kane. It's Kane. It's got to be Kane. It's got to be Kane. Kane is victorious. Kane is victorious. It's got to be Kane. That was a good match. Total World, Total World Slam to a quick stomp to the stomach gets the win for Kane over Devon. Hit the theme and let's end the show. Yeah.